Hey, I'm Brandon with Revzilla, and today on Ride Tested, we are checking out the new Sedicia Corsa suit, and what better place to do that than at the track? So let's hop on that R6 and check it out. What's up, everybody? I'm here at New Jersey Motorsports Park riding Thunderbolt today, getting in some track time, breaking in the new Sedici Corsa suit, and oh my gosh, I'm having a good time. It is, uh, it's been quite a while since I've been out here on the track. But yeah, the Corsa suit, man, I, really impressed, 600 bucks, and I genuinely don't think that you're gonna find a better suit for 600 bucks. CE level two protection, removable mesh lining. We've got elbow sliders. We've got obviously knee pucks that are included. We got reinforcement at the seat, which is always nice. You gotta keep those biscuits nice and safe. <laughs> and then we've got some airman reinforcement on the sleeves as well. Now that's not something you see a lot of. I've only seen it in a handful of Alpine star suits actually. It came from Mark Marquez because he was sliding across the, uh, the asphalt and the leather was actually burning him. So they had to figure out something to dissipate the heat. So we've got airmen in the sleeves and we've got that on this particular suit, which is really awesome. So you'll find that in the sleeves, little elbow sliders, replaceable elbow sliders, I should add. And man, is it comfortable. We've got accordion in all the right places. You got it at the shoulders, obviously the knees, and I know it's the internet, and I know everyone's gonna be like, oh, it's just Brandon fucking the exclusive brands for Revzilla. No, I challenge you to find a better suit with better features for $600. Woo. I don't think you can do it. Man, I don't know if anybody has any experience with the uh, Sedici suits a few years back, and. Some of them came with pucks, some of them didn't. These will definitely come with pucks and they are obviously adjustable, very easy to uh, manipulate and update, but the difference is pretty impressive considering what it came from and what it is now and keeping that price point low. And it's really because Ed, he's part of our team here and he's helping develop all these products and working with the manufacturers and our design team and giving us all the things we want and trying to keep that price low. And honestly, for $600, I think a lot of people are gonna kinda have that, you know, what's wrong with it kind of factor. Like 600 bucks, there's gotta be something wrong. And I, I don't wanna sound like a broken record, but man, I'm impressed, I really am. And I was trying to look for some, uh, some cons for the suit, because I like to be as ob objective as I possibly can. And I was really having some trouble finding some some harsh critiques just because it's really good. I mean, I guess you could argue maybe the air mid at the sleeves is a little bit over the top for the average rider, but average riders are still pushing at the track and still crashing and sliding across the tarmac, so why not have the best protection you can get in the sleeves? But it does tend to build a little bit of heat in that particular area because it's air mid. It's kind of a coincidence because it's designed to dissipate that heat. If you're looking at getting into the track, you don't want to spend a fortune on a suit, but obviously you want something that's going to be protective and you're getting massive, massive gains when it comes to a uh, bang for the buck aspect on this suit. It's just freaking ridiculous. It honestly is. It should be more expensive. It really should, but we all love a good deal. So hopefully they don't raise the price, but they should, in my opinion. <laughs> But guys, yeah, if you got any questions, something I didn't cover for you, please do not hesitate to reach out. <laughs> I can't answer for you at 130, dodging traffic, but I can get back to you later. <laughs> All right, hopefully you guys are having a great time getting out there on two wheels and uh, had a little fun watching me tear up this track here. Don't go, don't go too rough on me, man. It's been a while, so go easy on me. <laughs> All right, guys, keep it thin. Woo!